Hi everyone, I've got an unboxing today and this is a really exciting one, if it's what I think it is and I'm pretty certain it's got to be. It's my unicorn. I caught my unicorn, finally, after years and years of wanting to own this bottle and not being able to find, literally not being able to find one. It's not that it was too expensive and I couldn't have it because it was too expensive. It literally was because I could not find one. I have actually reviewed it from a decant that I had way back a couple of, well, the first time I sort of smelt it and knew that I had to own a bottle was going back two or three years ago. So I will re-review it from the full bottle. That's if this box is what I think it is. So do you want to see what's in the box? I know I do. Just arrived this morning. I was thinking, um, I stalk the postman every day. I don't leave the house until the postman's been. Is that acceptable? Is that normal? Do you do that? Just wrapped in some bubbly wrap. So yeah, um, I have a different postman today. He left it on the doorstep and ran a mile. So I shouted down the street, thank you. <laughs> so here we are, it's wrapped in some pinstripe purple paper, which I like, it's very nice. It feels like what I'm expecting. So I'm pretty confident it is what I thought it is. Ready? Ready? Oh, look at this. Oh my God. So this is Alien Taste of Fragrance. It says so on the bottom. In fact, it says Le Goût de Parfum. So G-O-U-T in French means taste. So if you are in, if you're hunting it down yourself, you need to be searching not just for taste of fragrance, you also need to search Goût, G-O-U-T, Goût de Parfum. Because if someone is listing it on eBay or, or one of those other sites, they might not list it as taste of fragrance. They might list it as Goût de Parfum. I think that's what happened in this case, but I had saved searches on taste of fragrance and alien goot and here it is so i got it for a, a nice price i think it was about 45 pounds with the postage in the end thereabouts i would have paid a lot more for it probably it's so rare that this comes up so What's it all about? Well, let's spray a little bit. It's not really the kind of day that you wear a heavy fragrance like this. It's bright sunshine, no clouds, nice and warm. I've got suntan lotion on, so it's definitely a hot day. Hot day in uh, England conditions. In England, uh, what we're used to, it's quite hot. So I'm just gonna do one spray on my wrist. Okay, we are on. So, this fragrance is quite similar to Essence de Parfum, Alien Essence Absolute. Essence Absolute. It's quite similar to Alien Essence Absolute. And I do need to do a side-by-side -side comparison because it's quite possible that if you own one, you don't need the other. They are that close, but I, just felt at the time when I was testing both and the liqueur de parfum which I also managed to score a bottle of a couple of years back and I'm really really happy to have that again the it's quite similar but I felt like that taste of fragrance just had the edge over essence so let's I can smell it in the air I wouldn't at this point know that it's not Alien Essence Absolute. It does have this 
rich syrupy vanilla it's almost like a play-doh type vanilla but i get that from the liqueur de parfum as well but the liqueur de parfum i'd say is a bit bit more play-doh like and this has got a little bit of a spice to it i think a bit more so it's got a little bit of a kick to it almost like there's a touch of pepper just blended in with everything else so it's a still a jasmine fragrance lots of jasmine sandback so if you like the original alien you might like this if you like gourmand sweet rich fragrances this feels like it just has something else in there it might be so there's i think there's a salted caramel note in here I could be wrong but it does feel like there is something counteracting the sweetness so yeah almost like it is a bit salty you know when you eat sweet and salty popcorn which is my favorite kind of popcorn uh. Uh oh, go away, go away, go, go away, go away. Do you like the lily here, by the way? The previous owners of this house were re really good at gardening. So even though they've been gone over six months, all these beautiful flowers keep popping up everywhere. It's amazing. They've got lilies, there's quite a few lilies here actually. Um, I just hope I don't ruin everything. Probably will. And the lilies smell amazing, by the way. They don't give off, they don't project, but you have to get right up close and the scent is gorgeous. It's very heady. It's lovely. Yeah, this has got um, almost like a driftwood effect. Oh, go away. Sorry. Bloody had insects, we're all, we're all out at the moment. It's got um, almost like a driftwood, like a salty, dried, sweet, woodsy note that's in there with the syrupy vanilla and the rich jasmine. It's like the jasmine's so rich and thick. This is amazing. I am so pleased to have it. So this is not a review. I'm going to come back and review this fragrance. I'm going to compare it to Alien Essence Absolute because I think it's important to know if it's worth the effort of tracking it down because it's really, really hard to get. This has taken me, what, two or three years. It's been on my saved searches. I think I've seen one one or two come up in the States, but I couldn't get them uh, shipped to me. And apart from that, I just have never seen it. So it's quite amazing to finally have my unicorn. I caught a unicorn. Thumbnail. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Just a quickie for you, because I know you guys like a quickie every now and then. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.